soft waves and sand, the paradise of the Gulf Beach, and the bustle of Gulf Boulevard. High-rise condos. Some see jobs for workers, money for the tax rolls. But others see tall concrete as a barrier. Mary Rose Holmes has a name for it. The Great Wall of Florida. Mary Rose is an artist. She and two of her friends paint what's disappearing. Old cottages, mom-and-pop motels, places where you can see the sea. Whether you're poor or whether you're rich, when you ride over to the beach, you want to see the waves. You want to see the seagulls. You want to see the porpoises. And you're not going to see them if there's just a wall of condos. Mary Rose, Helen Tilston, and Violetta Shoemadeson turn old places on the beach into works of art with a special feeling. Remind me of places I've been in the past and places I've felt comfortable in. They call themselves the Plon Air Cottage Artists. That means they paint outdoors, on site, for a special connection. Through the eyes, through the heart, through the hand of the artist. They say their hearts are with old cottages and small businesses that could be priced out because of the boom on the beach. Property values have gone up as fast as the high rises and taxes have shot up too. They got this cottage down on canvas just before it went down to the ground. An empty lot now. The owner had to sell when taxes tripled. Cottages are endangered. If you kill a turtle, you can get another turtle. And if you kill a tree, you can plant another tree. But if you get smash a cottage, it's gone forever. There's a condo there, and it will never be back. The cottage artists hope to push a grassroots effort to hold down taxes so more old cottages can remain keeping some gaps in the Great Wall, where you can still see the beach. Boyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. Now, some of their friends have gone to Tallahassee to push lawmakers for a tax cap on all beach property. And so far, the cottage artists have done nearly 200 paintings, all their proceeds, by the way, going to charity. Well, if you haven't noticed...